Okay, guys, we're going to continue part two here. Okay, so look, I can select one item. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do just fundamentals. It's very important that you watch these lessons, these demos, and just just play with it once, twice, three times, and take notes. Okay, do not just watch me and do at the same time. Watch, take some notes, and say, okay, for me to move, I think it's uh, what is it? G grab and then something like that. Okay, I can use the arrow for directional arrow means. A select and move kind of thing so please don't if you just do it at the same time i'm doing it for the first time you're not going to remember later unless you did it 10 times okay so i suggest you just watch take notes and then do it all right let's go all right so i'm selecting the first one and i want to move all three of these you can do this and all of a sudden oops you can do a marquee select which you know a lot of students love right okay another way so i'm just going to hold shift down and i'm just going to drag and i'm going to hold shift left click shift left click now all three are selected look at this up here sphere one sphere two cf three eventually i'll teach you how to group and combine and all that nonsense right now you're just selecting and then you're just coming in here going okay so g and then maybe i'll move it on the y y so there it is it's moving on its own okay let it go gone okay cool so now watch i'm, I'm not going to get into uh modeling in it until I do I run a couple more lessons. Okay, so now imagine that I wanna I wanna make a tree, right? So let's see what we can do here. Add, I'm gonna go to mesh, I'm gonna get a cylinder, add here, mesh, and then come down here. I'm sure there's a hot key for pressing Y with something to get a cylinder, which would be kind of cool. Okay, so if I press scale right off the bat, let's see, without looking at what's going on here. Look, nice, right? This is what we're used to, I think. I told you I, I'm having a hard time from the middle. There's gotta be a way to do this, so Ooh. Okay, so there's this part. I can scale here. Um, I can rotate. So imagine now this is a tree trunk, right? Boy, this would be tough if we don't know what to do next. Okay, so I guess in a way I'm going to have to go in here and um, change certain things up. Okay, I need to taper this top, for example. Now we're going to go back to grade four math, uh, faces, edges, and vertices. Okay, but here, every, like, the selection is all from vertices, so just stay with me. We're in layout, right? I'm going to go to modeling, okay? And then I want you to press one, two, oh, yeah, yeah, thank you. That was a recorded, my last lesson. One, you're in verts mode, which is right here, vertices. If I press two, you're in edges. Isn't that nice? But press three, boom, you're in faces. So here there's a face. If I go, what do I do? So I press grab, Wee. okay? Crazy stuff, right? Okay, so I'm going to say escape, I think. Okay, good. So now, look, one is edges, right? Oh, sorry, verts. So if I just go like this now and press S for scale, what happens? Ooh, look at that. So by just knowing how to do that, I just made a tree trunk, right? Okay. So now if I want to get out of this, I can press tab or layout. So when you're in modeling, think of it as you're under the hood of the engine of a car. You're going to tweak things. But if you want the whole car selected, you got to tab in and tab out, basically. So here, layout, you tab out, basically. There it is. So remember, uh, what is it? Uh, Shift D, duplicate. And then I'm just going to look at that. See? And I'm going to press, uh, let's see, let's press Z here. And it just moves up on the Y. Isn't that cool? So now, uh, <laughs> okay, so I'm going to make something interesting. I'm going to make this conical looking tree, right? Okay, let's see what we can do here. Okay, we're here. I'm going to go into modeling or press tab. I'm going to select these bad boys right here at the bottom, and I'm going to press S. Let's see what this does. What? So this is kind of cool, right? So since all the rings, all the vertices are selected, so I've got this happening, right? And then I can select these ones. Left click right there with the selection tool. Now I'm going to press S, for example. So if you keep it linear like this, I think it constrains it. Yeah, that's kind of nice, right? Left drag, sweet. I hope that's everything, but I may have a problem here. Let's see. Oh, no, you didn't. Okay, I knew that was going to happen. Okay, so let's just duplicate this again. Shift D. Um, I'm sure there's a way here to uh, select the back, too. So I think I'm going to go into, okay, here's time to say, you see this toggle x-ray mode? To me, that's really edge mode, okay? So edges, and so look. If I go into modeling now, and I'm going to say tab, and I want my verts, I'm in one. Let's see. Aha! So now I selected all these. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna escape. I'm gonna right click out. Uh, I don't know. Let's just go out here. Okay. 
one, two, I'm just going to go into layout. Okay, so again, I, you need to understand this. Because I selected it, it missed the back faces. Okay, so there's a way to back, work, back select. Somebody said, basically, put your edge mode on. So it's like x-ray mode. Press tab to get into subdivision modes here, modeling, right? You go in here and you say, I want the vertices, Balian. And you just do a marquee select. Now if I press S, watch, everything is selected. Okay, sorry, this is kind of painful, but you know, once we get over, we get over it, right? I'm going to press S again, like that, done. Okay, so that's kind of cool, right? Then I can select all of these. Now watch, I'm going to say G for grab. Okay, you know that, Z. And I just want these guys to come down. Whee! See how cool that is? Okay, I'm getting, I'm having fun here. Okay, now I'm going to get out of this mode. I'm going to go into layout. So now you're you're selecting the entire car. Isn't that nice? Okay. So potentially, I just made my my tree. Okay. And I believe if I come down here for a second, I know somebody wants to go to color right away. So if I come in here, click on this guy here, new material, or or actually let's press new and call this. Uh, uh, green or something. I didn't mean to come here so quickly, and I think the base color is this. We'll just come in here and go, I wanted something like that, and then I can't see it until I click this. So I think this is like shaded mode. Yeah, it says shaded mode rendering. This is uh, no lighting, I think. This is just flat, and this is the x-ray mode. Isn't that nice? Okay, sweet. So we just learned some cool stuff here. Okay, that's with lighting. This is without lighting. I think this is nice. Look how sweet this is looking already, all right? So if you're the type to say, you know, there's so many other things I'm going to do with you guys. I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to make it hollow, that kind of thing, okay? So I'm just going to go to select now. Look how easy so far. Shift select the two. Thank you very much. Grab, buddy boy. And I want to move it on the Y, so I'm just going to press Y and yeah, see ya over there. I'm going to hold middle scroll button down, and there's that one there. Okay, we got that. Now, oh, I would love this part. Okay, so to me, I love box modeling, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this base, uh, Shift D, and I'm going to move it here. I don't know where that is. Okay, so I just go in here and go square box. I want all this to be at zero. Look, zero, tab, zero, tab, zero, boom. It should be, except for that guy here. Zero, I say to you. I command you. Hmm. There we go, it's in the middle, okay, cool. The reason why I like things to start in the middle is because now you can add things to it, right? Okay, so watch this. So I'm gonna make this into a top hat now, I think. <laughs> okay, and now it's called cylinder four. I'm gonna double click here and call it top hat. Hello, and we know this is kind of inverted. That's okay. We'll go into modeling, which is tab. I'm gonna, I got these guys selected. I'm gonna press S like that. Oh yeah, and select these guys. I'm gonna press, uh, let's go, let's just press uh, Z. Nope, that's something else. Okay, that's, that's hold, I gotta press G first and then go, okay? So look, G and then Z, I just move this up. Look how nice that is, right? Okay, there, and then I'm gonna go to tab again. I'm gonna be in layout mode here. And obviously this is way too big, Valian. Way too big, right? That's okay. So let's pretend this is my top hat, right? Nice. I just need another element to go underneath. But uh, so you can see that if I bring one of these cylinders that I made earlier, I press G and then Y, I could just drag them over here. Who knows? And then maybe scale it for S and like that. And then I'm going to go S again. I want to. OK, what if I press Z now? Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, that's sweet. Thank you, Blender. You guys are rocking, man. I gotta say this because I just I'm pressing scale and I want to constrain it to an axis, which is basically a X Y Z three axes. So if you're pressing S for scale and then X, it's gonna constrain it, which is sweet. Very nice, very nice. I appreciate that. Now I'm gonna stylize this chapeau top hat. Watch this. I got this right. I'm gonna come up here. I'm gonna go to tab. I'm gonna hit three for face. Watch this. Oh yeah. And E is for rotate. Let's get the rotate, buddy. Oh, no, 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 sorry. That's extrude. Oh, my God. I forget. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love rotate. Okay, let's just take this anyway. Hang on. I'm going to press S. And <laughs> okay, I'm having too much fun in this app, okay? So now I'm going to say grab, go up on the Z, something like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, whatever. It, it all works, man. It all works. Okay. Oh, boy. So I just changed the top hat completely. So I'm going to go into vertex mode, vertex mode. I'm going to hit rotate. Now watch this. 
I'm going to press G and then Z. I'm going to bring that guy down. Look at that. So I just stylized it for us. Look at that. See? So it looks like a, a diamond or whatever, but that's okay. All right. So this is nice. Okay. So I'm just going to go into normal mode here. Here. Okay. So there. Now, if I get out of this mode, as you know, modeling, layout, there. This is what we got, right? Potentially, I can, I'm going to show you guys how to combine these two so it becomes one thing and then we, we put it on the hat. So I'm just keeping things separate right now, okay? I'm going to add one more thing. Oh, this is so much fun. Ten minutes. Okay, okay. I'm going to add the, the rim of the hat, okay? So basically, a couple things you can do here. Hold on. Let's go in here. First off, I can duplicate this, right? Shifty. Boom. W. No, not W. This is, this is not Maya. Oh, my God. Okay, okay, let's do this again. It's grab and then Z for up, okay? So there. I'm going to say scale, and I'm going to Z. Look, Z, dude. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. And now I'm going to say scale. Uh, let's go grab, and then maybe S for scale, and I want to bring it like that, see? So now my top hat is going to have some kind of a, a, a strip up here, right? A cloth strip or something, or, you know, I'm going to say S and Z, see, to make that even wider. There you go, okay? So these are my elements. So if I wanted to color this guy here, I just go back down here to the ball, and I'm going to go new. I'm going to say this is a – I usually type in MTL underscore something, so I'll go MTL material. i got to double-click here first, MTL, and I'm going to go top hat, for example, which I know it's going to be black, okay? So there, I'm going to come over here, change that to – uh, down here, yeah, like that. Okay, see, done. That nice. That's nice. Okay, so you just made a top hat. Isn't that nice? And then I can take the whole thing, uh, combine it, and then I can rotate it and so forth and rescale it. Okay, so this is 12 minutes Gonski already. Okay, I gotta stop. Part two, Blender. We're good. See you later. Get ready for three.